So those are the one that we use to make the aircraft structure. So let's look at what how to do the repair on the L section. We just make a simple L section. So normally we have L. This is a vertical flange and this is a horizontal flange. Okay. And you have skin. This flange will be related to skin. So we have a reverse here. Sorry, we have this thing reverted. Reverts here. If you look at the cross section, this view, what you see will be an angle and we have skin, which we have reverse. This is typical construction of angle and skin. But the problem, the problem is. Uh, we may have damage somewhere here. Yeah. See damage. The damage could be typically what we have could be crack, corrosion. Uh, Uh, crack, corrosion. Maybe you will see this is this is two of the most common. Okay. Crack and corrosion. And how we want to deal with this? How we repair? It will be similar concept where we cut and remove the section. So we cut. We cut out the area, install filler, install filler. Okay, then we install doubler. We put doubler. And then we have reverse. Similarly, initially you put three. Okay. You put two here. Yeah. 
actually my drawing is not uh, my sketch is not very clear. But at least you got some idea. Okay, so this is the words. So we have to cut out the area. Next door filler. Since this is filler, there will be close to line because it is behind the tabular. Okay, so this is a concept. But for you to show this, you have to do 2D. It's not in this uh, ISO view. Okay, you have to show in 2D. So what you will have here is horizontal flange. Vertical flange. And we have doublet. Okay. And then as we said earlier, we, this is the cut. Where you will install filler. Okay, and then we have rivets. As we think will be three across. Okay. So this is the view from this angle. Okay, this is view A. So this is view A. So you do in two dimensional. So if you look at from the top, you will see the repair will be Yeah, so we have underneath here, you can see it's a filler. So because it is the underneath the double, it is a total line, hidden line. Okay. And you can see also here we have the rivets. <coughs> One, two, three, one, two. Three. And we may install two here and two here. Three. 
one here, one here. Okay, now we need to label just like the one that we seen we do earlier. Again, we have to label what? We have to label the fastener, the reverts. So we have just put an arrow here with a reader. You can see here is reverts. MS two zero four seven one zero diameter a four mm. After referring the table, which I've shown you earlier. So this is here. Then you have also to label the. Doubler. Okay, you can see the doubler is aluminium alloy. Thickness one gauge higher, say one point eight. If the material here is 1.6 then you choose 1.8 one gauge higher so if the metal here is 1.6 and the repair will be 1.8 one gauge higher any questions so far clearer i think no sir so, okay. huh? So far, okay, sir. Okay. Now, what is next? We have to determine the pitch distance of the fastener. Okay. Pitch distance of fastener. So H distance will be we put E D. So H distance, which is baru atam two. We have just we do what we did earlier two time die. We call it two D, which is similar to two time diameter. Of the reverse. And twitch distance, which is four to six inch. Sorry, four to six D. So the pitch between here, okay, between this whole fastener to this fastener. Okay, the distance is. Four. So six D. Diameter. If we choose four, diameter is four mm. Time four mm. So the edge distance is sixteen. Sorry, the spacing is sixteen. So this is fastness spacing. So the rule is remove all the damage 
install a filler to fill up, not all sometimes. Then you have to uh, install with this filler with the same material. Install the doubler with the same material, one gauge thicker. And install the fastener. The spacing, edge distance is two time dimension, diameter. And then the spacing is four to six time the diameter of the rivets. So this is a concept, basic concept repair. I will show you on the skin is also angle. And we'll have 11 examples in the structure repair manual of 8020 that we can follow and we can touch out and we try to understand how things been done. Questions? So the distance between river is uh, already in table table right sir. Uh no it's it's the road time and not the table but the diameter the river yes you have to choose from the table. Okay sir. So what is the problem now? We have all the concept repair, so we have to check. We need to check first doubler question is it strong restore the original okay okay the damage okay, second two so second is the okay second is the reverse is the no is the R R the reverse will be able to take the shear force. Number four, is the material able to withstand the uh, forces the reverse? which is more on the wearing strength. Okay. Then what else you need to check? So this all the check to be done following your repair concept. If you find out some of this check fail, you have to redo the repair. For example, if the doubler unable to take the strength, means that the doubler is, don't have enough area to lower the stress, then you have to go and, and increase the thickness. So similarly with others, if you have bearing, if your fastener fail in bearings, you have to choose different material which is won't allow any failure embedding. So any repair, that anything that you install during the repair, you must be checked. You, it must be checked. They call it, uh, normally, uh, normally they call it stress check. Questions so far? So far, okay, sir. So for okay, the rest. Okay.